Being masculine and confident in today's world is seen as a negative. But whether people like to admit it or not, these two qualities make you more attractive and help society. That's why as a man, you shouldn't be ashamed trying to find your way. But what is more important, masculinity or confidence? In my eyes, they're both as important as each other. That's why we're gonna look at some ways how we can improve these two qualities to help you succeed in life. My name is Yasin. I spent 10 years in the NHS trying to help people walk again and build their confidence. Now I help men achieve their full potential. So now let's look at some ways how we can improve your masculinity and your confidence at the same time. Weapon training. Now depending on where you live will depend on how much training you can get in this field. By just having a gun doesn't make you a masculine strong man. Knowing you can protect yourself, your loved ones, your friends, your family is very masculine. Not only that, by going to a shooting range, shooting a target, becoming better in a skill will boost your confidence. I was lucky enough to visit Romania where I did some shooting with my friend Matthew. We had an absolutely amazing time. Now the chances of me ever using a gun in the UK are very minimal. But if I ever came to a life-threatening situation where I had to protect myself and the only option there was a gun, at least I know how to use it, how to fire it, how to hold it. That's why I want to arrange a weekend in Romania or Poland where we can shoot some guns, chat about life and experience some new things. Now if you're interested in that, I recommend joining my mailing list. When the time is right, I'll arrange it where about four to five of us can get together and have an absolutely awesome weekend. But guys, it doesn't have to be guns. It could be archery, it could be axe throwing. Just knowing how to use weapons is very masculine, it can improve your confidence and it's a great skill to have in life. Build something. Now I was quite lucky to do quite a bit of work on this house. I got an opportunity to learn a lot of these skills. These skills will not only help me in the future, they've been helping me in my day to day life. There was times where I felt like I couldn't even get this done. There was days I was coming here when I was shattered. I didn't have the energy, I didn't have the motivation. I built a fireplace downstairs and it was one of the best things I've done. The feeling that you'll get when you build something is unbelievable. It's built in our DNA. Having the ability to complete something, build something will not only boost your confidence, it will make you feel more masculine. Whether it's just putting up a shelf, putting a table together, you should be able to do these things. Before, I could understand you didn't have anyone to teach you, you didn't have an older brother, maybe you didn't have a father to teach you these things. But now you have YouTube, you have no excuse. I got four older brothers and no one taught me anything. I learned everything on YouTube. It taught me how to hang doors, put on skirting boards, cut trim, lay flooring, do tiling. It taught me so many things. So if you're saying I don't have anyone to teach me, you don't need anyone. You've got the internet, learn everything from there. Once a girl knows how you can do summer, I guarantee it, she will always be calling for your help. Shit talking. Shit talking about yourself and talking about others will not only destroy your confidence, it'll make you look and feel less masculine. But this can be easily fixed. Just stop hanging around with people that shit talk others and take one word out of your vocabulary, can't. No more, I can't lose weight, I can't get a girlfriend, I can't afford it. This word can't will not only keep you financially poor, it'll keep you mentally poor. I want you to change the word from can't to can. I can lose weight, I can get a girlfriend, I can make money. You start doing that, your brain will find ways to make things happen. So stop using the word can't, switch it with the word can and start to see your life change. Hard things, doing hard things. I absolutely hate sparring, but I know it's important for me to do it. Turning up to do something that I don't like that will benefit me in life. Trying to not get hit in the face kicks in your survival mode. Once that kicks in, as men, it makes us feel masculine. Tapping into your survival instincts is an important part of being a masculine and confident man. Whether it's sparring or just running a marathon, it takes a next level of confidence and mental toughness. That's why I recommend you start doing some hard things. If you don't like sparring, you don't like running, maybe you wanna do a weekend challenge, Whatever it is, it will improve your mental and physical health. By doing that, you'll feel more confident and you'll feel more masculine. Taking risks. Now this can go from one extreme to the other. Whether you wanna jump out of a plane or invest in some crypto, taking risks makes you feel alive. But taking calculated risks are even better. They can improve your finances, they can improve your life, and they can take you on a whole new journey. 
as you get older you won't want to take as many risks you'll get a little bit more cautious that's why when you're young you should take as many risks as possible don't worry you have time to recover you have time to come back take as many risks as you can and you won't regret it it will not only boost your confidence it'll make you feel alive and more masculine whether you want to quit your job start a business travel try a new martial arts even try some new food start taking some risks and you will notice your life starts to change for me i hate traveling alone i always used to travel with someone but if I waited for my friends and didn't take that risk to go out there alone into Asia over the last six months, I would have not had the experiences I had and I wouldn't be already planning my next trip in the coming months. You've got to take those risks because it opens your eyes to a new world. The gym is the easiest way to build confidence and increase your masculinity. It's full of other masculine men, so don't be shy and afraid to go in there. Soak up that energy. But those little wins that you'll get from lifting heavier weights doing more reps can absolutely boost your confidence. But it's not only that, it's the mental and the physical benefits you get from the gym. There is no better feeling than lifting weights. Now you might not be into weightlifting, then you can do calisthenics. You might not be into calisthenics, then you can do running. Do whatever you enjoy doing, but get into the gym just to soak up that atmosphere. Martial arts, as long as it's not Krav Maga, you should be doing a martial arts. It will improve your confidence and it'll make you feel more masculine when you can protect yourself, your friends and your family. My top four are Japanese Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, Boxing and Filipino martial arts. Learn a skill, there's two reasons for learning a skill. Whether it's video editing, photo editing, coding, learning a martial arts, playing an instrument, maybe even learn a new language. Once you learn a skill, it'll give you a sense of accomplishment. That will boost your confidence. But once you have that skill, you can turn that skill into a potential income stream. And having the ability to earn your own money is the most masculine thing you can do. Also having that bit of extra money to give a little bit to charity or someone who has a little bit less is an absolute great feeling. Diet, bit of a controversial one, but it's one we need to talk about. Studies have shown women find men who eat meat more attractive. Now that's not the only reason, but it's a good enough reason to start eating meat. But the main reason is that processed foods are full of chemicals. They take you from one high to another low. They can be absolutely destroying your confidence. The chemicals that they put in foods today, we don't even know what they are. E this, E that. We don't know what these chemicals are doing to our brain and our body. But also having a high protein diet can help with improving your skin quality, reduce your acne and help you build muscle. Low testosterone. This is one that's overlooked, but low testosterone can affect your confidence, your sex drive, your ability to want to take risks, your ability to want to do new things, your ability to even meet new people. That's why looking after your testosterone levels is very important. The good thing is there's so many things you can do to increase your testosterone. Simple things like sleeping more, improving your diet, taking zinc, which I have over here. I take zinc piclinate. These three simple things can really boost your testosterone. I've also done a playlist on how you can improve your men's health and your testosterone, which you might want to check out. I'll put the link in the description. But just by making some small lifestyle changes, you can absolutely boost your testosterone and it will make you feel so much better. Now, after a couple of months trying that, it doesn't work. I recommend getting a blood test. But just by increasing your testosterone levels, you'll definitely feel more confident and feel more masculine. Now, if you're looking for a way how to improve your confidence without saying a word, you might want to check this video out.